This car is roasting, man. Okay, for those who actually don't know me, I'm Reese Williamson and welcome to the channel. Uh, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos and possibly watch uh, the previous one. Oh my jeez, you do not know the heat in this car. 30 degrees. Lovely. Okay, so what I want to do is go to the gym just now, uh, get a good session in. So it is 20 past 11. It's been four, four, one, two, three, four days. So this is Wednesday, four days after I actually finished my photo shoot. Feels so much better now, like my calories are starting to build up. I can go through that later on. Uh, a bit of kind of reverse dieting. Yeah, so I can go through it later on. Uh, but yeah, so slowly starting to build up a wee bit. Uh, and yeah, my energy levels are a bit better. The Saturday night, my sleep was unbelievable. Yeah, so literally, I don't even know what time it was on the Saturday, but I literally just KO'd uh, and woke up Sunday feeling absolutely amazing. First time I've done that in about two weeks. But yeah, st starting to kind of get back to normal now. Uh, not quite there, but I'm, I will get there. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to the gym now, get a push session, uh, maybe do a bit of cardio, see. Uh, and yeah, enjoy the video. Yeah, so that's me back from my session, so just finished there, probably stayed in there for about an hour. Uh, amazing, I actually felt so good. Felt decently strong as well, like, surprising. Yeah, so I need to head into town now, uh, run some errands, and then I need to go back and do some work. Feeling good, feeling back, yes! Yeah, why not? Okay, so I had the urge to get a protein bar. So this is uh, Pro2Go Gooey Protein Bar Coconut and Milk Chocolate Gooey Protein Bar with a coconut filling coated with milk chocolate Yeah, so macros are actually pretty decent in this Okay, so I'm going to give this a go so It looks pretty decent, it's got like coconut shavings on it And I really like coconut, so I'm going to give this a wee go That's actually really good. Make that mess! Right. Hardly see it. Right. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that. It's got like a, a gooey coconut centre. I like this. If you definitely like coconut, then give this a try. The only thing I'll say about the Pro2Go bars, they're quite chewy. They're quite fudgy. Last bite. Mmm! Wow. Okay, so in this video, I also wanted to talk about uh, my first experience doing photo shoot uh, and this year's experience in a photo shoot. Uh, so yes, it was totally different the way I'd done it. So I'll talk about last year's first. So last year's, uh, what I did was, I think it was a 12 week cut. 12 week cut, quite short for me. Uh, and yeah, I didn't, didn't, didn't actually think I was gonna do a photo shoot. What I did was just in my head, uh, I just wanted to get as lean as possible. Uh, I didn't bulk, didn't do anything like that before it. I was just at a, a, a physique that I was obviously comfortable with, but I wanted to get even more shredded. Uh, so I was like, yeah, I've set a target, 12 weeks, just do it. Didn't even think about photo shoot, like I said. Uh, and I was going on a holiday. I was going to, where was it? Where's Mallorca? 
Uh, so I was going to Mallorca and I wanted to obviously look as best I can. So that's why I'd done it. So I didn't bulk before it, didn't do any any strength phase or anything like that. I just played football uh, and just wanted to lean down a bit. So that's exactly what I'd done. Followed the uh, a 12 week plan and done really well and got down to, I think it was like 68 kilograms. Like I say, I'll show you a photo maybe. I don't know what side, I don't know what side. Uh, I'll put the photo. That was the best shape I've ever, I've ever been in. Yeah, so I reached about 68 kilograms there uh, and I looked and looked and felt the best I've ever felt in my life. Strength was amazing. Uh, my physique, my physique was probably the best I've ever looked in my life. Okay, for that one, I did a different approach uh, in terms of training because I was playing a lot of football. Uh, my cardio was a lot higher uh, and my metabolism wasn't as big. So I had to cut down my calories a bit more than a bit more than I did this time. Uh, so yeah, it was just about how how my body reacted at that point. And the peak week is a lot different as well. It was similar but different. So like for example, the carb up. Uh, what I done was the like a two days instead of like a one day. Uh, they both seem to work as good as each other, but uh, I just done the one day for this year. Yeah. So last year what I did was I actually travelled all the way up to Glasgow to get this shoot. So it was in a studio, nice studio, all lights and everything, cameras was brilliant uh, and it was very professional whereas this time was totally different, totally different experience, uh, it was off my own back, went into the gym, uh, my brother done it, my brother's amazing at what he does, he does all his editing, done the photos, uh, he done all the footage for it uh, and i blown away by everything he does. He's also got a YouTube account as well which I'll put in either the description or I'll link to the side here. I don't know which one I prefer. I didn't have this second one planned, so that's the reason why I just done it on my own back. Uh, but I think it turned out amazing. And yeah, so that's totally two different two different styles, one off my own back and one in a, in a studio. Uh, I loved them both. Both stressful times. Uh, and yeah, so what I'll do is I'll run through my kind of style of cut so like the first time was like I said, like a 12 week. It was either like a 10 or 12 week, and then this year was like a 19 week, so I'd done a wee extra week. Uh, so it's total, that's like almost double. Uh, and definitely felt it. In terms of energy levels, totally felt it, uh, this one compared to the last one. The, letter, the last one was more of a, like a frantic, ferocious cut, like, cut my calories quite low. Uh, because I knew it was only going to go for about 10, 12 weeks uh, compared to this one where I knew I actually had time. Uh, so yeah, it was totally different. The first 15 weeks for this one uh, was pretty easy for me. Like, I didn't cut my calories that low until the last wee budge uh, when I started kind of struggling. My training had a really big hit, but yeah, I just had to keep on going, just burning calories every day, trying to look as shreds as possible. And, both times, okay, so both uh, the, the, the shorter one and the longer one, both worked perfect. Uh, so when I'm comparing the photos, uh, I must admit I'm in better shape now uh, than I was last year. I think I look a lot fuller, I look a lot better. Uh, the photos maybe totally different styles, but you can tell that this year I have put on a lot of muscle. Uh, so yeah, I'm, 70, is it 72.9 or 73 just say um, in the new ones but I was 68 in the last ones and you can definitely tell that I have put on size uh, and I'm I'm kind of basing it around the, the, the 4 kilograms like 4 or 5 kilograms is pretty much all muscle uh, so what I did was that after the shoot last year after the shoot last year what I did was I took a week and a period over summer just kind of Maintaining, uh, and then it was Christmas when I started bulking. It was maybe October. It was like October, September. Uh, yeah, I think it was October. It's when I started actually doing a lean bulk, so gradually building my calories up. Uh, and I'm so glad I done it. It was hard at the time, accepting the fact that you are like bigger, uh, didn't look as shredded as I normally uh, would have looked then, uh, but. It, I'm so glad I done it. My strength went right up. My my confidence in my lifts, uh, my size, my muscle, uh, and it turned out for the better. So I'm I'm looking as lean, if not leaner than I was last year, but I'm actually heavier. Uh, and yeah, and I think that was 
that was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Am I going to do another one, another lean bulk? Maybe, uh, I'll see. At the moment, uh, like I said, I'm just going to maintain for a bit. Uh, I've got plans for the future, but I'll, I'll speak to this in another video uh, about the next kind of approach uh, of what we're going to do. But like I said, just trying to relax for a wee bit, maintain as much as possible, uh, and yeah, and just kind of get back to normal routine in terms of training, which is happening, uh, and maintaining energy levels, make sure I'm just back to normal, feeling a bit better. Uh, I do feel a lot better, but not my 100% self yet, uh, but I'm getting there. Yeah, so I just wanted to like, run uh, run through this throughout the video. Uh, just gonna show you different approaches which I had. Both really worked out well and just gonna show you my journey and uh, what I've done throughout the past years. Yeah, so also like I said in the last video, online coaching which I do at the moment. Uh, if you're looking for a bit of advice or you're looking for a bit of help uh, in the next step, if you get a holiday booked or you get even a photo shoot in mind. Even the opposite approach as well, if you want to put on some muscle, get fitter, all that stuff, just message me on social media or on YouTube and uh, yeah, that's it and I'll get you uh, get in contact with you as soon as possible. So what a journey that was, it was been a long 19 weeks, uh, but yeah, it's, it's been beneficial, good learning curve and I'm totally glad I've done it again uh, in terms of the photo shoot. Uh, so like I said, what I'll do is probably maintain for a bit, enjoy, uh, and get back to my training the way it used to be and my energy levels and then I'll decide and I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to be doing next uh, and yeah you tell me as well like, do you prefer me uh, from the last shoot in 2018 or this year uh, yeah just comment below and see which one you prefer so guys I'm just going to wrap up the video there uh, if you liked the video remember to smash the thumbs up button comment like I said which one you preferred and subscribe to all the new viewers of this video and make sure to check out uh, my previous videos to just kind of run through everything that I've been doing uh, and yeah stay positive stay grateful and I will see you in the next one